This is my uh, demonstration at the Heathrow Bonsai Show. Uh, this was a single uh, garden plant, Juniper communis, and what we've done here is utilised this rock and we've turned the tree on its side so the root ball is now here and then we've wired the branches up to form individual trees. And sat here watching somebody wire the tree for two hours. So we tried to get some of the uh, the wiring work done beforehand. A piece of lava rock. It came from Indonesia originally. So it's a combination of resin and uh, and lava rock. And I think they were made by a mold. I had about ten of these. And um, although it's resin, it's still got some weight to it. It's still quite heavy. But not as heavy as it would be if it was uh, if it was pure cement. It took me about ten minutes to get it out at smaller pops, so I thought I'm pleased I didn't do that to take it out today. So because of the time of year, I want to try and be careful with the rope bar. I don't want to try and take too much root off. We've got plenty of good, healthy, fibrous root here, but it has been in this pot. To, quite a while. I would think uh, every five or six years. John is now working on the roots and uh, we will keep fretting in and out and catch up as he makes progress. It's going to be a, a three hour demonstration. John has uh, done some styling and also placed the tree in the new uh, pot and now he's continuing to work on the roots, removing all the old soil and he didn't want to cut too many of the branches off and he's going to try and use all the branches in the new design. John is now checking out the uh, tree with uh, the pot and feeding it in to see how it sits. He'll probably do some more adjustments to the roots before finally sort of, uh, placing it. And he also has pre-wired the branches because there's nothing worse than watching wiring being done the second to watching paint dry. John is now adding bonsai soil to the to this big pot and preparing it in readiness for the tree to go in. He's also uh, wired it up and uh, wire mesh and all that. All that was done before. And here comes the tree. Anchor wires are being tightened up. There is a second set of anchor wires which uh, John is going to tighten up now. The tree will be secure uh, in the pot, it will not move, stop it from moving. And as the new field roots develop, if the tree moves, the field roots can break.
created a design by turning the branches up and make it look like there are lots of trees, but it's all one tree and it's the branches which are being turned up. particles that we sieve out of the compost and some chopped sphagnum moss helps bind it together but this is really good for we use it on slab and rock plantings it holds the compost uh, on the rock so it stops it washing off when we water it but also the trees can grow in this really well so sometimes the rock plantings in Japan the trees are actually on the rocks for maybe 30 years without needing to be repotted so it really is good stuff the only problem is it's a bit messy. I prefer to get my hands in it and mould it on, but trouble is then everything you touch is black, so I thought I'd better put some gloves on. used that quite well and very artistically and underneath it he's created a, like a little stream and put a bit of flower rock to create that effect. This is the tree John started with and this is what we have. That was an excellent demonstration by John Henby and his contact details can be found in the description box below. Thanks for watching and if you're new here and want to learn to bonsai then please subscribe and also click the bell icon and you will receive notifications of all my new videos that way you will not miss anything this is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London until the next time and now for the afterthought my first job was as a diesel fitter in a pantyhose factory as they came off off the line I'd hold them up look at them and say, yeah, diesel fitter, you dig?